The clock is ticking on the debt ceiling showdown. And just one day left before the Memorial Day recess to reach a deal. And we are speaking with South Florida members of Congress today. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy live on Capitol Hill with this developing story. Ben. Nicole and Calvin, no deal yet this afternoon, but both sides are optimistic. South Florida lawmakers tell me do not panic, but yes, they are concerned. And it comes after weeks of back-to-back -back talks between top congressional leaders and the White House. The stalemate is over money. Republicans want spending cuts and to reclaim unspent COVID funds while imposing stricter work requirements for some federal aid programs like food stamps and immigration provisions. While President Biden did make an offer that would limit military and domestic spending, it also makes sure the wealthy pay their fair share in taxes, but the GOP says it does not address the spending problem. And it's grotesquely irresponsible to pretend that every single penny that the federal government is spending is essential and that we can't find savings. Of course we can. It's a spending problem. It's not a revenue problem. And so, you know, we need to tighten our belt. Uh, you know, American uh, Americans every day, you know, households every day, that when they have to tighten their belt, they tighten their belt, you know, and they stay within their budget. We should do the same. We have created what I would say is a manufactured crisis uh, because we can raise this and we can do spending, curtailing our spending in the budget. But they want to marry them together and that's what is keeping us from getting a deal. And so listen, I believe this would be utterly catastrophic uh, if we were to fall. And South Florida lawmakers on both sides do tell me that yes, there is still time to strike a deal, but it needs to be bipartisan to pass both the House and the Senate. Reporting live on Capitol Hill, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. There is still time, but not much.